we all love Mexican food, don't we? I think it's very close to Indian food because it's got a lot of spices, flavors, textures, and it suits our Indian palate. Today, I'm gonna to make a classic Mexican dish, and that's called the tacos, the crispy tacos, that's gonna be filled with some refried beans and, um, and a healthy salad. So without wasting any time, let's dive right in, and I'm gonna show you how to make this dish. So to begin making the refried beans for the tacos, I'll first preheat a pan on low to medium heat and we're gonna toss some garlic into it. This is olive oil. Olive oil brings great flavors. And I have a few cloves of garlic. Uh, depending upon the size of your garlic, just grate in some garlic into the oil. Just give it a subtle stir until you can start smelling the aromas coming through. You don't want the garlic to burn. Make sure the heat is on low. Okay, it's fantastic. The garlic has started sizzling in the oil. So at this stage, I'm gonna add the tomatoes. I have some freshly pureed tomatoes. These are pre-cooked tomatoes that were blanched with skin removed and then pureed. And that's it. If you are using ready-made tomatoes, you can go ahead and use a puree as well to make your cooking process much more simpler. Okay, perfect. Next, to this, some cumin powder, roasted cumin powder very similar to what we would make in India. Some salt and some usually refried beans uh, use black beans but well I'm using something that's locally available and that's rajma or the red kidney beans. I've cooked it really well until it was soft, drained all the excess liquids and I'm gonna add it to this. And all Mexican dishes have some spice. You can add some chili powder, you can add some jalapenos, but I love adding Tabasco sauce because it's got a little bit of vinegar and great hot peppers into it. So it drizzles some Tabasco sauce. Give it a stir. And we are now gonna use a masher to mash these beans up. So refried beans are essentially completely mashed up beans. And um, they taste great in, in a roll, a burrito, or a spread, or like the tacos that I'm gonna make today. Give it a stir. And using a potato masher, I'm gonna mash up the beans until all the rajma gets nicely mashed up. And the spices and the Tabasco salt, the salt, the cumin powder, everything gets really well combined. Notice that the beans are beautifully mashed. It's got a nice, soft, creamy texture to it. This is how the refried beans are supposed to look, and it's just perfect. You really don't have to cook the beans a lot because it's just done. All of them are pre-cooked. What I'm gonna do is to give it a taste. I like it spicy. Let's see if it is. Mm. Needs a little more kick, and I'm gonna drizzle some more Tabasco sauce in it. This is not one of those really hot Tabasco sauces, but there are sauces that are really hot, and it can add a punch, so make sure that you um, add a little at a time so you can judge what type of spice that you want in your beans. That's it. And the last step is to add in a bunch of finely chopped coriander leaves. It's called cilantro in Mexico. They call it cilantro. And, and we call it coriander. Just give it a stir and the refried beans are ready. Our next step is to prepare the tacos and uh, fill the beans into the tacos. So let's just do that. Now to assemble the tacos, we first have to make the salad for the tacos. So for that I am using some lettuce, I'm gonna grate some carrots and slice some onions. So let me just go ahead and do that. Onions adds a great texture and a punch to a salad. So when it's raw and thinly sliced, um, it just works perfectly for salads. If you get red onions, they work great too, but any type of onions is actually okay. And carrots. So I like to grate the carrots into um, using a thin grater because um, you don't want to bite too much and chew too much when you're eating a taco. You want to really have that soft feel and the crunch of the taco when you're eating it. So grating carrots thin really helps. There you go. And it also ups the nutrition value of your taco with a, you know, it's a healthy twist to a salad. 
great. And now I have my lettuce. I'm gonna cut them into, just take a small portion of it. Lettuce is usually not cut, but it's kind of torn into pieces. But if you know how to cut a lettuce, just, just cut it into small dices and it just works. Or you can also tear it. And I like cutting it because you get sort of even shapes and it's easier to fill it into a taco and a bite in as well. The next step is to add all this to a salad mixer and mix it all up. Now into the bowl, add in all the ingredients that we just chopped up and using your fingers, just add it all up. Look at the colors. Beautiful onions, the lettuce and the grated carrots. And I'm not, I'm gonna keep the salad healthy here. It's just gonna have some salt. Just go low on it because the Tabasco sauce that I'm gonna add or the cheese that you're gonna add and the refried beans have salt as well. And a squeeze from the lemon to give it that tang. That's it. And the salad for the tacos is ready. And next step is to fill the tacos and get a bite of it immediately. Now that we're ready with the salad, the refried beans, all we need to do is to make our tacos. So I have here with me some tacos that are ready-made that I bought from the stove and baked it in the oven for about three to four minutes until they became crisp. Now to fill the tacos, I'm gonna take some refried beans and place it at the bottom. Just make sure that you spread it evenly. It's perfect. And then take some salad, fill it in, pack it in with the salad. Adds the juicy crunch. And then finally, it, you know, no Mexican dish can be Mexican without the cheese. We'll top it with lots of cheese. Fantastic. And if you like to spice it up a little more, like I do, I'm just gonna drizzle just a little more, bit more Tabasco sauce. And we're ready to take a crunch. I hope you enjoyed watching the recipe of how to make the refried bean tacos with a healthy twist, and that's the salad. Give this recipe a try, and your children will love it too. When you do give it a try, don't forget to share your feedback in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.